Hey there guys and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Returns. Yes, I know this game again, but this game's almost over and I just had a hard and long and tiring day at work, so pretty much all I want to do right now is just make a video so I have something to upload today and then go and play Infamous 2 again. And because this takes the least amount of time to get like made, I'll figured. Eh, we'll do another Donkey Kong. People like those, right? At least I'm sure they do. Still gets better views than Metal Gear and Uncharted. And I'm not uh, not really sure if Lost Planet did that great either. So, yeah. Anyways, we're into the final stretches of the game. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh. Frickin' asteroids. Uh, with only five videos remaining, we're really approaching the end here. So, oh come on. So we can go and do some other game. I have already decided upon... Oh come on. I've already decided upon the LP that I'm going to do once this game is over. But first, I will be going on a brief, well somewhat brief hiatus yay cuz I think I mentioned it before but I'm really running out of games on my hard drive so I need to record some new games and yeah I don't have any work like I have off from work for like 10 days in a row like coming up so I figured why not use that time to like those 10 days to record some more games. So that's what I will do. 10 days of no videos. And I will play a crap load of games and record them. But after that, I will be back with a new LP. Also, hopefully the Mortal Kombat X-Ray montage. Yeah, still need to make that, or a uh, fatality montage, I mean. Still need to make that one. Oh crap, no, 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 no. All right. Now, I would really appreciate a checkpoint around here, or even a heart. Anything that helped me stay alive longer. Oh crud. Well, I'm probably safe here. How can those asteroids, like, freaking go through walls? Are they intangible? Then how do they- oh crap. Still managed to freaking hit me. Oh, the endgame barrel, that's even better than a checkpoint. Hmm. That level was kinda short. I guess. And we did rubbish on the collectibles again. Oh, figures, I always get kind of rubbish in the collectible department. Eh, yeah, well. Where do we go next? H2 Hot Rocket. You know, it's like a pun on Hot Pockets. Even though I have no freaking clue what those are. Although I've heard them, like, mentioned in a couple of videos. Like, some screw attack video, I think. Some others. Can anyone mind telling me what the hell Hot Pockets are? Is it like some American thing that I have no freaking knowledge of? Oh, great. I'm probably gonna die on my way to the freaking Barrel Rocket, because yes, this is a Barrel Rocket level, if you hadn't figured that out by the name Hot Rocket yet. Oh, crap. Of course. And this is probably gonna be the hardest freaking Barrel Rocket level yet. Ain't that freaking splendid? Come on. Oh. Nice. Actually did pretty well there. Now. Get all the big banana clusters. Hopefully get me no extra life. Whoa, crap. Yeah. They really have you go through some narrow ass... Whoa. See, this is what makes the barrel rocket level so hard. Usually, like the... Like, the course starts to shift, like, right in front of you. And you tend to get screwed over because you didn't really anticipate it. So these levels are even more trial and error than the regular ones. Uh-huh. Uh, no, yeah. Well, fine, get that one. Wait for it. Yes. And get those. And there, get the balloon. And then the puzzle piece. Perfect run. That should net me at least two more lives. Because I think with those bananas, I get another extra life. 
along with the balloon I picked up. Oh crap. No! Well, so much for that extra life. God, I suck at this game. It's a good thing this is almost over. I'll stop tormenting myself and I'll stop tormenting you guys with these videos. Ah, oh, crap, I got in here again. Well, maybe I can get some more lives out of it. Most definitely. Yeah, that's one extra life already. Go there. Oh, crap. Too late. Oh, well, bummer. Still got one life out of it with the bananas. So it's not a complete waste of time. Uh, never mind what I was saying. Jeez. Freaking die in the rocket level before I can even make it to the freaking rocket. How embarrassing. Anyways, here we go again. So. We pretty much figured this part out. Or at least I thought I did. Apparently that little rock outcropping went higher than I thought it would. Ah. <sighs> This game really gets to me sometimes. Hell, I can't even get past, like, the first 20 seconds of riding the barrel rocket. Alright, now dive. And then they're, like, gonna trap you here. I mean, look at how little space they give you to maneuver there. It's just completely bullcrap. Like, you get no space whatsoever for error. It's just, you have to be dead freaking perfect or you're not gonna make it in this one. Dive. Avoid the lava. Go higher. Higher. Yes. Okay, not gonna fall for that one now. Oh, great. Fireballs. And rocks falling from the ceiling. Just what I needed. God damn it. Oh boy, oh boy. This is going to be one hell of a challenge. I can tell that already. Alright, here we go again. Maybe I should have bought that invincibility potion from Cranky's store. I don't think I've ever bought that in this LP. So I don't know what the hell it does. I think it makes you like invincible for 20 seconds or something. That could probably be pretty helpful in this part. Or this stage. Higher, higher. And then, of course, you hit the ceiling. Like, where the... Mm, very alluring checkpoint, but I think I'm going to try a few more times, at least get to the checkpoint. Like, if I don't get to the checkpoint within the next, I don't know, 10 attempts, then I'll go for the super guide. Although, by then, I might be in the next episode already. Whoa, that was pretty nice there. Screw the K, don't care for it. Okay, so they have, like, the fireballs somewhere in the middle. Crap. I was like, okay, maybe I can just go down after that first one's passed and narrowly avoid being hit by the second one, but it did not turn out that way. Oh, well. Hop in and go again. Boy, this is so bad for my stock of lives. Although those bananas at the beginning at least helped me get some of them back. Alright, I've got that part down. And... Yeah, now it's this part that's causing me a trouble. Bloody fireballs. Okay, whoa. Yes. Yes. Checkpoint. Now. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I... What the, I thought there was no freaking way to go there. And then, like, right ahead of you, this abyss opens up in which, like, you can go through. I hate these rocket levels so much. Like, I want a bloody clear path ahead. Like, no freaking changing rocks or anything. Like, I want to be able to go where I see a path. And I didn't see a path, so I was like, oh, what the hell do I do? And I just, my finger slipped off the freaking button there. Yes, checkpoint, you can keep waving that flag for all I care. I'm going to do this myself for my... To regain my lost honor. Because, yeah, this LP has really... Like, not done well for my... Gaming reputation. As a somewhat professional... Gamer who knew what the hell he was doing. But this game kind of threw that all out the window. 
probably because this was my first playthrough and I'm not really that amazing at 2D platformers in the first place. Just ask my friends whenever we played New Super Mario Bros. Wii with like four people. Although I wasn't the worst. Like I was pretty much the only one who knew what the hell he was doing most of the time. And also the only one who actually played like 2D Mario games before. At least I don't recall them ever playing any 2D Mario games. Okay, open up, open up, open up. Alright. Oh yeah, checkpoint. Sweet. Won't have to worry about that. Oh crap. Now we get bloody dragons. Yeah. So be very careful here. Because there will be lots of random fire dragons spiraling around. And you'll kind of have to dodge him. Whoa, man. Look at... There's like five of them on screen at once. Jeez. Well, at least we got the checkpoint there. If there wasn't a checkpoint there, that would just be brutal. But at least now it's somewhat manageable. So get that one the end already. Huh, must mean we're already three quarters through the level. Nice. Alright. Go high here. Then go low there. No crap. <sighs> so much things you need to pay freaking attention to. It's like driving in the middle of a busy city. Like you have to watch the pedestrians, the people riding bikes, the other people driving cars. Like the traffic lights, the road signs, all that crap. It's just like... Here, you have to watch five freaking dragons spiraling in different angles and directions. Whoa. Okay, stay low. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No oh, crap, no. Yeah, it just rises up from the freaking lava and it hits me from below. Screw you, checkpoint. You can go suck it for all I care. I'm doing this one by myself. Like a man. Like bloody Mr. T. Because that's what he told me when I saw him on BBC3 the other day. Yes, even though I'm in the Netherlands, I can watch BBC3. Ten, that's like one of the only TV channels I watch sometimes, because they air Family Guy. Like two Family Guy episodes in a row at midnight, my time. Which I guess is like 11pm UK time or something. Oh crap. Well, yeah, this is going to be a close call. Please, please. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was the final chamber. <sighs> I could really go for that Family Guy double about now. I need something to cheer me the hell up. And Family Guy always brings a smile to my face. Because, like it or not, you can't deny that there's some good jokes in that. Sometimes. Although sometimes they can get kind of like okay we've get the we get the joke it's not funny anymore like uh i saw the family guy parody of star wars return of the jedi the other day like looked it up on the internet and you know the part where they're like in the sarlacc pit and jabba wants to kill everyone by throwing them in it and they're like looking at each other like signaling okay we're gonna do the whole rescue plan now yeah they kind of parodied that they like look at each other and back and forth and back and forth and it goes on for five freaking minutes okay maybe that's overstating it a bit but it goes on forever and i was like okay we get it move on it's like yeah they kind of stretch the funniness of something sometimes but most jokes are good overall i must say and we finally got that bloomin level done what's next Oh, Cranky Kong Shop, let's go buy the key. Who hasn't stolen your bananas at this point? Yeah, good one. DK does tend to get his bananas stolen a lot. People are always like, Oh, Mario can't protect his princess. Well, DK can't protect his bananas. Pretty much, and Kirby can't protect his cake or his star rod or whatever the hell his villains keep stealing. Or the dreams of the citizens of Dreamland or whatever. Let's see, roasting ri- Oh crap, that's gonna be a minecart level, isn't it? Well, we'll see in the next part of Donkey Kong Country Returns.